Okay, so I'm going to try and turn these pile of old shoes straight out of the scrap bin into something quite pleasant. I have uh, half an hour spare this afternoon. So the first job is to cut two or three pairs. In fact, I think it's about, I don't know, four or five pairs in half. So I'm just going to whip a few of them in two with an angle grinder. Cutting disc on there. Should whip through these fairly quickly. It's a really warm day today. It's um, suddenly gone from being quite cool in May to sort of late 20s, early 30 degrees. It's come as a bit, bit of a shock to most people. Alright, there we go. We've got those two in half, so that's four bits. So I want a few more. Alright, so I've cut them all up. Now it's trying to assemble them. I have already put it together once, just to see if it was it would work. Uh, and now I'm going to try and put it together upside down, or sort of back to front, so that the the, the back's showing. Because I'm obviously going to tack it on the back. Um, and it doesn't. Don't think it's actually going to be as easy as I thought. Having taken it sort of to pieces. They all look the same now. So I've got to try and work out which bits go where. <laughs> I did take a photograph of it which is what I'm looking at now so that I can try and figure out which bits go where. Because although they all look like the same pieces of half shoe, trust me they're not. They're all slightly different. They're bigger, smaller, different shapes and I want to try and use the pairs so that it's symmetrical both sides. That's the idea anyway. And as I say, upside down it all looks a bit different. Is that one gotta go there? That's the other one to it I think. Yep, that's the pair to that one. Of course now you can't really see very well. I have to try and bring it down a bit. Now I saw this on, I don't know what it was, it might have been Pinterest or, I don't know, somewhere on the, on the net anyway. And uh, I thought it looked quite cool. And I thought it's just the sort of thing the wife would like, either to keep, stick in the garden somewhere, or to sell in the shop. So I thought, well I've got half an hour, I'll knock one up. Right. I've decided I'm going to put it sideways, put the camera sideways, so hopefully you'll be able to see a bit better. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd, uh, I've got a few sh shoes kicking about, because I took all my scrap in the scrapyard the other day, because i just got so much of it, so of course now I've got hardly any. So I've gathered a few shoes, a couple of days' work. Right, these... <laughs> really is quite confusing. It's like a jigsaw puzzle that you can't actually see what the pattern is on the front because you're trying to put it together upside down. Alright, uh, I think that one goes there. Find the mate to that one. Is that it? Uh, yep, I think that's the one. So I want to use the same pairs so it looks sort of symmetrical. And we've got another one up there. Which one? No, that's not it. That must be the one. Let's set that one on there. And no, other side. Sort of like that, one like that, and then the final two on each end, hopefully. But I'm going to need a bit of fiddling about with this because, as I say, it's, it's just not quite as easy upside down. Right, I'm going to fiddle about for a little while, give it a tack, and then I'll show you once I've tacked it because that's basically what it's going to look like. Something like that. I hope. 
Right, I tacked it all up just on the back, put a few tacks. And that's sort of it. Not quite sure about the wings bit, but not too bad. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to give the world the areas where I want to weld a bit of a wire brush because they are covered in these literally these shoes have just come off horses and have been chucked in the in the scrap so they're covered in manure, mud, all sorts of unsavoury stuff. So I'm just gonna get the worst of it off just so that my worlds will be a little bit better. I'm not trying to weld through crud. And then we'll give it a blast. Now I'm only going to tack. I've got a broken one there. I think I better start with those ones. Um, I'm only going to weld it on the back. Um, basically, just for looks. It's going to be plenty strong enough. I've got the welder turned up pretty high. Get a bit of penetration and. I don't think we're going to need anything on the front. It's not like it's going to be pulled about, mauled all over the place, or you know, used like a tennis racket or something. It's um, purely for decoration. So some decent welds on the back should sort it. So we're going to get a few of them in. I think the wife will quite like this, it's right up her street, it's the sort of thing she likes. Anything like this. And I'm still making trivets for her, like they're going out of fashion, the, heart, the horseshoe heart ones. Every time I get five minutes when I'm making my shoes, I'll knock up a couple. Um, she can't sell enough of them. So, it'd be nice if I was getting some money out of it. <laughs> It all goes to, uh, I can't see a fat lot. Yeah, it all goes to uh, make a happy relationship. <laughs> no, I think we've got a few more to do on this side. This actually hasn't taken all that long so far. It's the hardest bit was figuring it all out, trying to sort of get the right size shoes for um, the right bits. I've used shoes of varying sizes. The ones running up the middle are fairly similar. Oh, bugger. Oh, run out of wire. Okay. Let me go and put another reel on and I'll come back when, if, when I'm up and running again. Right, that didn't take long. Let's get you back so you can see because I had to move the camera to go around the back and put new wire in. 15 kilos of wire doesn't last very long these days. I've been doing so much welding for um, a friend of mine with those jugs and the moulds and all sorts of other things. Doing a lot of welding recently. And it goes nowhere. Still it's pretty cheap so can't complain. Alright, so we must be almost done. I'm still waiting for bits for the grinder job. If you've been watching other videos of mine, you'll know I've started a, a series on a grinder build. I was hoping that the laser cutting would have come today, but it hasn't turned up, which is one of the reasons I decided to quickly knock this up before I went home. Must be nearly there. Couple more, I think. Let me have a little slurp of my drink. be almost it. Yep, I think that's it. 
looks like they're all done. There's nothing worse than finding you've uh, missed one once you've got it all put together. Once you've done other jobs on it and then you suddenly realise you've missed the world. Right, get a few of the bits and spots off. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is give her a bit of a grind up, I think with a, well, not grind up, a bit of a um, clean up with the wire brush. Try and get the worst of the muck out because the, the fullering, the groove in the shoes is full of muck and all sorts. So let's get the wire brush out and see if we can get some of that off. Right, I'm going to do the back first and get all the muck out of there because the, where I've hammered the clips down I didn't bother to take the clips off of the shoes I just hammered them down and so it was this was intending to be a very quick job so I've just hammered the, the uh, clips down at the end of the day no one's going to see them at the back there when it's either stood in a garden or hanging on a wall or whatever someone decides to do with it but I do want it clean because um, I'm going to give it a quick coat of lacquer so I do with all my the shoeing um, projects when I make like the trivets at the horse, horse shoe heart trivets um, or any of the stuff I make out of the horseshoes I just give them a quick wire brush up um, it has two benefits one is this wire brush is pretty tough and it takes all the rough edges off, any sort of slight burrs, rough edges, it really gets rid of them, smooths everything off. Um, so it, it cleans as well. So now I'm, I've done some of the front, I want to get into these grooves and get the, the muck out of that. So I'm just going to swap wheels. Um, right, so I've taken off the big cup wheel. That only runs at about 8,500. And I put on this little narrow sort of disc wheel almost. And that runs at twelve and a half thousand, so I've turned the grinder up a bit. This is a really cool grinder, it's fourteen hundred watts, so you have a job to stall it. And it's about six speed. So you can turn it right down for the the brushes and tools that don't won't run fast, and then turn it right up for the ones that will. You can see how it's getting in getting all the muck out. The only disadvantage of running it at that speed is that the bristles do tend to fly out and I end up going home with a sort of punctured chest where all the bristles fly into my chest. You've got to be careful which way you point it, you don't want to be pointing it at your face. That gets in there quite well. It, won't, it obviously doesn't get all of it out because there's nails still in there and there's clips in the way and there's you know studs in the way and all sorts of things but it, it gets the worst out and it smooths it off and like I said before it just gives a nice finish. So there we are, quick coat of lacquer. It's not the best in the world but it's my first attempt. If I ever do another one I might make the shoes slightly different shape. I might actually shape the shoes before I put it together. Anyway, that's for the future. There you go, I think the wife will like that. Thanks for watching.